I wasn't in necessarily a lot last year when we played Northwestern, so like yeah. they were telling me how the game went last year and okay. things to look out for, and I'm, you know, I just take it all in because they're really experienced and really good players. Yeah. How did it just feel getting your first interception, especially one that led to points for you guys? Uh, it just felt awesome just to know I was helping out the team in any way possible. Um, you know, it felt rewarding, you know, when you know you started to drop the game, uh, the beat for that game, and then it, it comes up in the game and you get a chance to make the play. So, um, you know, looking to make more and not happy about it, satisfied at all, but it definitely felt good. You were in great position on that play. What, what did you just see? You know, did you kind of have a feeling it was coming, or what did you just see that allowed you to jump it? Yeah, um, you know, it's just, just reading the quarterback, trusting my instincts, um, not not any magic, just, you know, just film study throughout the week and just playing with good eyes. You were one of the guys that, you know, starting in spring, a lot of people felt like took the biggest jump on this roster. What was going on in the offseason that allowed you to put yourself into this position now to be a valuable you know, number three corner for this team? Um, just being being uh, able to do whatever's asked of me within, within the weight room, within you know, training, just you know, really locking in and, and taking taking a lot of coaching from the older guys uh, ahead of you know, playing on the season. They're really experienced and uh, just being in a lot of positions that I'm in this year. So just being able to you know, make that jump was something that wasn't me, but a lot of the older guys and the coaches brought me along, helped me out a lot. Are you good enough to defend your dad yet? <laughs> I think that's a better question for him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it'll, it'll be fun. He, he, you know, he still got the quickness at the line, but if he tries, he tries to get down the field, I'm on his hip. So, yeah. Right. I'm gonna say, like, I know you've been at this before, all this other, all this, but just what did you see on that interception yeah. in the second half? And just how did you read it? Well, you know, just reading off the quarterback's eyes, we knew like they like to come out in a quick game. Um, you know, we knew we, uh, when they were backed up, they like to be aggressive, passing more often than other teams. So just playing with that in mind, you know, I can grab my keys and just jump the ball fast. Do you feel like it goes on the offense? It's a balanced offense now from what you're seeing in the you know, Wisconsin pass game and the run game too? Yeah, you love to see the, the run game and pass game working together. So they're doing a great job. Yeah. What's it like? playing on the defense with Leo and Jack and yeah. stuff that it seems like they're able to clean up. There's a tackle or a TFL yeah. they're usually in the mix. Yeah. What's that like being a part of it? Leo and Jack work, work really well together and we know that so we let them kind of just do their job but they help they help get pressure on the quarterback, you know, stop the runs. Um, but it just makes your job as a be that much that much better because you know they're forcing the ball out quick or, or Aaron throws to the receiver so it's just awesome. Were you surprised that Danny was handling punt returns today or what sort of went into how they decide who's going to take the punt returns? Yeah, not surprised at all. Danny makes plays with the ball in his hands a lot. So, you know, we trust we trust whoever we put back there to make plays for the season and get us very good. Position.